What's the most disturbing realization you've come to? That the text you sent to that girl might come off as douchey. Maybe you should send another text to clear up the potential misunderstanding. Oh God, you made it worse. I avoid this issue by never texting girls. Though the fact that they won't give me their numbers might make it even easier. That as I get older, the people and things I've admired are going away and not existing anymore. Every time you hear about someone escaping from captivity after years of abuse, I realize there are still people being held that we don't know about and may never know about. My wife and I realize that one of us will die before the other, leaving the other alone for an indeterminate amount of time. You might both die in a horrible fire. I like your optimism. Kinda like mine. I was laying with my head on my SO's chest last night and could hear her heartbeat. It dawned on me that all it takes is that heart to stop beating and my whole world comes crashing down. Something so small could pretty much destroy me. I'd say that was pretty disturbing. Love is great, but I guess kinda sucks too. My whole life I've always felt like I was searching for something or meant to do great things and just haven't found that something. I'm slowly starting to realize that there is a very good possibility that this may never be the case. I'm not sure how I feel about it either. I read a book that blew my mind. The main character goes crazy when he realizes no one really knows him. The gist is that the person you think of as, yourself, exists only for you, and even you don't really know who that is. Every person you meet, have a relationship with or make eye contact on the street with, creates a version of you, in their heads. You're not the same person to your mom, your dad, your siblings, than you are to your co-workers, your neighbors, or your friends. There are a thousand different versions of yourself out there, in people's minds. A you exists in each version, and yet your you yourself isn't really a someone at all. From Uno Nessuno Sentamela by Luigi Pirandello. That is an extremely interesting and horrifyingly accurate explanation. No matter how sweet and nice you are to people doesn't mean they will care about you. As a young teenager celebrating New Year with all the extended family, I noticed my great-grandfather celebrating with everyone else. It dawned on me that one day it might be me in his shoes, celebrating with my family, yet virtually everyone celebrating with me in that future are total strangers to me now. And almost everyone I know and love around me now will be strangers or distant memories to those people I don't know yet whom I will call family. That I am that friend. The one people only call when everyone else is busy. You need to go out and make better friends. I know I hate it when people say that like it's the easiest thing in the world, because it's not. It's really fucking hard as an adult to get out and find people that you really connect with and share interests with and want to spend time with whose lives aren't already full. The best advice I could give is to find some hobbies that really interest you and dive headfirst into them and then try to find groups of people who do that thing. That people tend to judge others based on action, not intent. One out of character statement or action can permanently alter others' perception of you. And we judge ourselves on intent, not action. That most people choose convenience over compassion. Forgotten memories won't return. Every time you remember something, it's like painting over faded paint, and you distort it slightly until almost all of it is imagination. Sometimes I think about something I may well never have thought of again for the rest of my life, and I wonder if that's the last time I will ever think about that memory, and it makes me kind of sad. Same goes for people. When I leave a job, I wonder which of these people I'll never see again. Some older people you see on the street won't be around in a few years. Even the strangers in the street, especially the ones you may see repeatedly, and simply don't remember them enough to make an association with their faces. At least one person you see today may never be seen again by you. I know that it's not really a big deal, but it just sort of gets to me. This world is just so circumstantial, like there's no apparent reason for any of it, and here we are experiencing each other's existence for these little moments. Two ships passing in the night. Life is so beautiful, and yet so tragically temporary. No matter how much someone you love is ruining their own life, they are the only person who can do anything to change themselves. That in a few generations of my family, no one will remember who I am. Have you considered becoming a ghost? That I am painfully, boringly normal in most ways, and only unique in ways that distance me from those I prefer to be closer to.
My cat's crusty but has touched everything on my desk. I will never truly be able to understand another person, their experiences, thoughts, and emotions. On the same line of thought, I've realized the immense isolation of the mind. How alone can one be inside its own head? Not only will you never truly understand anybody, but nobody will ever truly understand you. My cat doesn't try to eat me just because I'm bigger. That the purpose of your adult life is to save money so you don't run out of money when you can't work anymore. So many misunderstandings and innocent mistakes have far-reaching consequences. A couple months ago, I asked my brother why he never sang along to our old favorite songs with me anymore. Turns out ten years ago, I jokingly told him that he sucked at singing, and he had never sang around people since. I've been fucked up over that for a while. This is why you never, ever, ever tell someone they have a silly or dumb or embarrassing laugh. I can't imagine how shitty it would feel to be self-conscious about the noise you make when you are so overcome with joy, happiness, silliness, and all the other good things in life. I am consciously self-sabotaging myself in almost every aspect of my life. That being the grown-up, adult, parent, doesn't give me any more answers to everything in life than it did before. And then realizing that my parents were also just as lost, making it up as they go. Someone really should have told us. The things I used to like about myself are no longer things that describe me. Arthur C. Clarke said it best for me. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. I would say, both are equally exciting. That our sphere of influence as the human race is actually very small. Outside of our own perceptions our existence is completely meaningless to not only the universe but the world itself. If we all died tomorrow it wouldn't matter to anything else but us. Someone, I don't remember who, once said something about how he thought we should be able to just turn off our phones and disconnect from social media for a couple days if we wanted to without having to feel weird about it or explain ourselves to anyone. It kind of fucked me up because I realized I probably could do just that, and no one would even notice. In fact it would take a lot longer than a couple days before anyone noticed. Mental illness doesn't go away, you just have to deal with it. You never know the last time that you're going to do something until the moment has long passed. You don't know when the last time you'll carry your child in your arms, the last time you'll see a once close friend, the last time you'll play a game, all of these and much more until you look back and realize that you haven't done it since and most likely never will. We're slowly killing our earth and we, for the most part, don't care and can't do anything about it. What's the most disturbing realization you've come to? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.